Hey, what is up everybody, and welcome back to another episode of Minecraft Time Traveler. So in the last episode, we worked out on, we, we worked on this little area out here, we made this wall cobblestone, we worked in, in the basement there, we made this little path. Let's check out this cellar, I just called it a basement, it's a cellar. I still haven't worked here, I haven't done anything since last episode actually. Yeah, this is what we did last time, um, got a nice little cellar, this is inspired by Dishonored. Uh, don't think it really turned out that way though, but whatever. Um, in this episode, I think we're going to try to work on polishing some areas up, like this tunnel over here. Um, maybe this tunnel? I don't really know. I want to polish up this drop over here, and the tunnel to the tree farm over here I also want to polish up. Uh, maybe only get as far as here, because I've got quite a lot of other stuff to polish up. Um, but yeah, that... That's the plan for today because I don't remember what I said I wanted to do in the last episode and that's pretty much all that I want to do. Um, so let's go Let's go get some materials. Uh, I think over here I'm going to want to make the walls out of cobblestone maybe and then the path out of regular planks. But I'm not entirely sure. Maybe, maybe mix it up a little because it's going to be quite boring otherwise. Okay, so let's work on this little bit here first, because I think it'll be the easiest to do. So what I want to do is I want to make this part and this wall over here, I want to make this into wood. Then the rest will probably just be cobblestone all the way down. Um, that kind of makes sense to me. I'm not going to work on the basement down there. Um, not today, at least. Maybe another time. Uh, but for now, this should be good enough. I'll place the torch back in just a sec. Okay, that already looks way better. And then all of this over here, I'm going to make it into cobblestone. So I'm going to have to dig all of this out and replace it again. Alright, so that is complete. Uh, we can drop down here. And that is all cobblestone, apart from the rest of this room, but that's not to worry about. We'll do that later at some point, and it won't be cobblestone. This is like the most beta Minecraft thing I've ever seen. Just pure cobblestone there. Um, Alright, so let's do something else. Let's maybe work on this. So, I've got this wall as cobblestone, so I think this wall will also be cobblestone. Uh, I want to make the floor out of these slabs, probably, and the roof... <sighs> cobblestone. <laughs> I don't want to make it out of cobblestone, because we've already got so much cobblestone, but... Whatever, um, yes, I guess I can live with a little bit more. Um, I'm not sure what to do about, about this little bit here, because we've got wood on this block, but this is where this bit ends, so I'm not entirely sure what to do. Maybe I'll make this out of wood and the rest out of cobble. Um, and I'll have, I don't know, maybe, uh, you know what, no, I don't want to notch, I don't want to notch. Um, but yeah, that's a good start, I suppose. So let's let me dig out this entire wall, and then replace that as well. Alright, that's an, the entire wall cobblestone here now. Let me go quickly sleep and then we'll continue working on something else. Alright, so I think I'm going to work on this floor now. I've got some slabs here ready to go. Unfortunately, you still can't do upside down slabs, so it's going to be double slabs all the way here. Uh, so it's going to take way too many resources. But I've got some more stone cooking right now. I've got eight sacks cooking. So I'm going to cook that up and then it should be enough to complete this plus a few more things that I need to do. So let's continue. Alright, I have 
the floor here complete as well now. I think I'm going to leave the roof for now. I want to, I want to work on this here right now. I want to clean up those walls. I want to make them all smooth stone. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to go down here. And I'm going to remove anything that's not smooth stone and replace it with smooth stone. I might need more than two stacks actually. Uh, definitely will over here. Um, and then what I want to do is maybe work on this actual mine bit a little bit and then start mining because I need some resources quite badly and I haven't done any mining whatsoever here. So let's begin with making this all into sm into smooth stone. Alright, this is done as well now, so let's head down here and see what we can do with the actual mineshaft. So, what I wanted to do was kind of have like support structures. Um, if you were, if I was to think about it, it's very similar to what Etho has in his... In one of his uh, mineshafts where he uh, like thanks all of his donators or donors. Um, I want to have a similar support thing here, so... Maybe not have the mineshaft quite like this. Um, might have to be spaced every uh, three blocks instead of every two blocks like I have here. Uh, but it would work out anyway. Uh, so let's see. We can start over here. What we what we would do is we'd place in our so-called supports, and then the rest would be stone like so. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to place a torch up here so mobs don't spawn. And then I need to somehow make this work. Uh, let's see. Ooh, got glitch. Okay, let me get up there. Yep, thank you. Thank you, game. All right, yeah, I think this just barely works, so... If we have it like this, uh, we should be able to cover all of this in smooth stone. Good thing I bought extra with me. Uh, that torch can go away. One, two, three. So it would go over here. Yeah, and it would, it would be something like this. Um, let me forget that this thing exists here and let me just make another support. Okay, I don't think I have enough wood for it, but it would be something like this, and then it would just continue like this every third, every fourth block down the line here, and then we can place torches on either side, or just one, I don't know how to do it. We can do them alternating like so. And, and yeah, that would be about how the mineshaft works. Um, for now, maybe we can try doing some actual mining. I want to get some diamonds. Um, so let's see what we can do here. I'm not expecting a whole lot because I only have 16 torches and not much picture ability. Uh, this just goes off into this cave here, but that's fine. I don't think we have any... We, I don't think we found many diamonds down here. Um, so let's see what we can do. It's looking pretty boring so far. Okay, we have some redstone, that's good. Redstone is always useful. I'll be collecting that in a bit. Okay, got some iron. Okay, you know what? I'm. This is probably worth more than diamond right now because the pick's about to break. Although I do have another one. That's cool. And yeah, I'll probably I'll probably make a cut here for now, and then I'll see what happens afterwards. Alright, so after a little bit of digging, I found a cave here with some diamonds right over here. So I'm just going to collect these and I'm going to collect everything else in this cave and then we'll continue digging. Uh, looks like we've got quite a few diamonds here actually, that's nice. I'll actually dig extra around here because I don't want to miss any out. And yeah, I think that's it. Yeah, that's definitely it. Um, maybe check out what's behind that lava there. And then, yeah, I'll continue digging, see if I can get any more diamonds. Alright everybody, so I've been working around here 
And while I was doing so, I had an idea of what to do something special in this room. So, as you can see, I have a pressure plate over here now, instead of a torch. And I'm actually going to remove this bed. Uh, and I'm going to dig around here, and dig this, and dig underneath the table, and just test that redstone can in fact go through a crafting table in this particular version of Minecraft, because I don't know. That's not very helpful. Yes, it does. Okay, good. So, to many of you people that regularly watch my videos, you probably know that I quite like Ethos Lab. And, well, I kind of know a lot about his world. And his world has a really cool thing where during nighttime, he gets a lullaby played. And then in the morning, he gets a morning song played. That morning song happens to be called Morning Mood by some guy I forgot his name of already, but the opening theme is 27 notes long, 28 to be precise, but one of them needs to be cut out in order to fit with Minecraft Redstone. Um, so it's 27 notes long, and I'm going to recreate this so that when I sleep, we get the music played to us, and in fact I'm going to need some more repeaters because we don't have enough here, I'm going to need quite a few more actually, but Here's, here's the idea. We're going to make an AND gate. Um, so what I'm going to do is so I'm going to replace these two blocks here with wood. And we're going to place a lever on that block right there. So when we flick that down, if I can place things, when we flick that down, that's going to be part of our AND gate. And then when we, well, more precisely, when we flip that up, and we're standing on this. When we go to bed, the AND gate will turn off, um, and thus it's going to be an AND gate, which will then play us a song uh, after 51 ticks of waiting, because that redstone ticks, because that's how long it takes for us to sleep. Um, and yeah, it's a, it's a bit complicated. I haven't actually come up with the redstone for the AND gate yet, um, because I, I didn't know what kind of redstone we'd be working with here. I'm going to just make this out of um, cobblestone here instead of sand. So, here's the idea. We're going to need to dig out a bit of a room. Um, it would probably be easier if I do this all off camera, but I want to I want to get as much of this done on camera for you guys. So you understand what I've done. And, okay, we're just doing this. I don't know how much space we have back there, so we might be a little restricted on space, um, but it should be alright. Okay, so just doing that, and then we're going to actually gonna break this because I did this wrong. We're going to place a block there and we're going to get a signal from our lever that's on this block. gonna be just like that. Okay. We can nah actually we can't we can't. Okay let me dig some more over here. We need more space. Okay. Actually now that I think about it, we can just do this. Alright, so that's our end gate. Um, okay, let me see. So I would pull this down, and that turns this off. Then when when the, I would stand on the pressure plate, we'd get redstone signal there, and it would turn that off. Perfect. So what that would then do is, as soon as the pressure plate turns back off, when we get into bed, this will turn on, and then we'll it will play the song. Um, the redstone is going to be on most of the time, and I need to somehow now make 51 ticks of delay. Uh, so first of all, I'm gonna I'm gonna figure out how much space we have back here. Um, I don't want to dig too far, but we'll see. Okay, that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 10. What was there? I don't know. 10. Okay. This is 11 box actually, but never mind. Um, so what we're going to do now is we're going to dig ourselves 
a little way back because we're gonna need to have redstone going back on us as well. Okay, so ooh. Yeah, redstone is a little complex. Um can we do this? Yes we can, okay. We'll we'll just do it like this because I'm a bit lazy and don't want to waste as much redstone. Now, I had a look at the sheet music for the morning mood song that I'm going to be making here, and I had a look at it, I built it in creative mode, I figured out how, how many um, times to click on each block, and how many repeaters or ticks of delay I need after each block as well. So this is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. <clears throat> of course. Um, 10. Thank you. 11. 12. And I believe it's like that. To make 51 ticks of delay. Okay, so let's have this line go over here. And then somewhere around here we're going to build the song. Um, I don't know where, I'm going to need to get a few more repeaters now because I forgot I need to make this delay. But let's see uh, how the delay works and if it's actually going to work or not. Okay. That seems about right. Yeah, it seems about right. It's all good. So it takes this long to sleep. Nice. Okay, let me let me just put some more light over here because... We don't want any lag from redstone because redstone is incredibly laggy. And now I'm just going to dig out a room somewhere around here and we're going to build the song. Okay, so I'm not entirely sure how many um, blocks of space we are going to need. Um, but I can tell you right now that this is not enough. Uh, let me go literally like two more blocks this way and that will be enough. Okay, this should now be pretty much enough, I think. So, this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to place in a grid of dirt here. We need dirt so that we can have the piano sound made. Um, and I may have still messed this up. Yes, in fact, I need to go a few more blocks this way for it to actually work. Oh, boy. Okay, that should be good. And I'm just going to... Oh, I don't know where to place this. Um, I guess there. And yeah, I should be bright enough now here. And let's start placing these in. I'm just going to place in all of the note blocks first. Okay, cool. It works. Just wanted to check. Okay, you know what? I like this. If, if you're clicking on it to break it, then you can check the pitch of it. That's something you can't actually do anymore. Or not that I was able to figure out in creative mode. Maybe it has to be something to do in survival uh, these days, but in creative mode it doesn't work, unfortunately. Okay, and let me just place in some more torches around. Okay, this is now rather complicated looking, so here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to place in all of the repeaters. I know this one for a fact is four. Ah, didn't play. Excuse me. I don't think I like this redstone. <laughs> this redstone does not work. Um, what if I play into it directly? Does it have to be directly into it like this, maybe? Yes, it does. Okay, so I'm going to need to dig all of this out and then replace it. That's fine. Okay, so now we need to replace all of these with dirt. And now I just need to check. Will... Oh, why is... Why are the repeaters being weird? It didn't play this one. Ah. 
Okay, I might have to I might have to rethink about how I do this. Um, it might it might now make sense to me why <laughs> old note lock songs were like super weird in the way that they were built. Um, because I might just have to do it something like this. Okay, no, I can't do that. That'll just break it. That doesn't even work. Ah, I don't know what to do. <laughs> I really don't know what to do. Okay, that works. If you power it directly, it works. What about with a repeater? Oh, we can't even do it like that, so... <laughs> oh god. This is not going so well. I don't understand this old redstone. It just does not function. Okay. So here's my thought of how I'm going to have to do this. I'm going to need to have 27 repeaters. And I'm going to need so much space for this. Oh my god. And I want to proof it, future proof it as well, so it will work in the future. So here's what I'm going to need to do. Um, I can probably do something like this, right? That, no, 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 not like this, not like this. That's me being silly. I need to um, place redstone there, and then a note lock here. Right. Okay, will it work if I do this? Oh my god. Okay, it has to work if I do this. Yes, there we go. No, I didn't hear, did it play it? Yes, we figured it out. We figured out Rod we figured out hold redstone, so Oh my god. Uh I, I'm now gonna have some fun time doing this. Okay, I'll I'll be back when I finish this. Okay, well I figured out the redstone bug, so if I update redstone there, then the repeater stays on. If I update the redstone here, then the repeaters turn off. So that will all work, which is good. Now I need to figure out a way to lay out all of this so that in the future it will continue to work, which I think I may have figured out, but I don't know. <laughs> this, this is some next level complicated stuff, mostly because it doesn't work. Okay, so um, what I'm thinking is I'm going to have the next note blocks here. Uh, I can't have them next to each other because in the future they'll be able to power through each other and then that will mess up the tune. Um, so if I have them side by side like this, they should be fine. Um, so over here is going to be the dirt. And then over here we will have our redstone. So let me let me place all of these in and then we'll see how we can make it all work. Alright, so I'm, I'm pretty much done here, so I suppose let's go check it out. Um, I'm just gonna dig around over here because it was quite a pain to get down the other way. Okay, so that's our exit there. So here I have the delay. And this goes into this repeater here, which then starts the entire song. Um, it, it was quite interesting figuring out how to do the redstone with the old version. Um, but I think I've got it all figured out here, and it does work. So what we're going to do is we're just going to go test it real quick. Um, I, did, I did already sleep once, and it seems to have worked without me having to change m many of the timings. But... The timings are so small that it doesn't actually matter. What I can do is actually just do something like that. That should be perfect. Now, I don't know if it's night time. No, it's not. So what you would do is you just stand on the pressure plate here when you're ready to go to bed. You don't have to do this at all, but if you want the song, then you just click that. And then when you step off the pressure plate, uh, the timer goes off and it turns back on. And plays the song.
Now, redstone is a bit random at the moment, so there was a little bit of an issue at the end there. I'm just going to double check that this is in fact all fine. It was not. That, that's good to know. <laughs> um, so yeah, that that's uh, that's all done really. Um, if you don't want it to work, then you just switch off the lever, and then the AND gate is going to be constantly turned on there, so the NAND is constantly off, and stepping on the pressure plate doesn't do anything, as you can see there. I'm pretty sure I talked right about the gates, but I honestly don't know because I give up with computer science at this point. So, that's that. Um, very good. I'll I'll be looking forward to using this more, and in the future I want to see how the redstone holds up. It should be fine, I think I future-proofed it enough. But yeah, um, I think it'll have to be it for today's episode. Um, we got we got a little bit done around, um, still got this area here to polish up, but I think this is for another time when we actually work around here, we don't, we don't really do much around here right now. Um, yeah, we got the tunnel over here polished up, the tunnel here polished up, and the tunnel here pretty much polished up. So, and we also now added this little music contraption. Um, the sheet music is very simple. Um, I think you can just Google it anywhere. I'll probably put the song name in the description if I remember. But yes, thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed. If you did, be sure to leave a like. Subscribe if you want to see more. I can't show you my face because this is old Minecraft. And hope you have a good day. Bye bye.